Hi, my name is Sebastian. I work for Focus. It's a Dutch company, been in business for 30 plus years, and we're here at the NAB show in Las Vegas. I started as a cam operator and AC, and now I work with Focus in sales and services where we build, make, maintain, and repair rigging cameras, and we make our own equipment as well. Tell me about it. Yeah. Was it is it made in Holland? Yeah, it's all made in the Netherlands. Uh, so follow focus, grips, top handles, cheese plates, trigger grips. This is a five axis diopter holder. Yeah, all the things you need to have a proper camera rig we supply. One of the new things we've made is a modular sliding top handle. We make this for all new cameras. So RE35, Venice 2, V-Raptor and V-Raptor XL. It can be custom made for different lengths made for different accessories, cold shoe, NATO rails, and comes off really easy. And it's switchable with the other systems as long as they have a sliding top cheese plate. Top cheese plate also has a bubble gauge, so you know if you're always level. It's black anodized aluminum, and the grip is made with walnut. As a cam operator, I actually prefer wood, walnut, yeah, specifically, because I like the smell and feel. But if it was up to me, everything would be made of wood. So solid grip, nice grip, lasts a long time and it absorbs sweats as well. So even if you have sweaty hands, it will never get slippery. You grab both these handles, you got drop. These cables. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you hold these and what I do is I twist them. Yep. So oh, not pull them okay. out, I twist them and then, yep. then it comes down and you close it. Hi, how are you? My name is Tony. I go by the handle The Living Arcade. I am a content creator and I also freelance grip and lighting in production, all kinds of things. Anything to do with cameras, grip, lighting, I'm, I'm involved. This is in this because the crews are getting smaller, the equipment's getting more nimble, lightweight, works extremely well. We need to move fast, right? It's a very fast moving industry. We can move very quickly, something like this. We get on a plane, land at location, do the shoot, do the job. This, this is interesting to me because this solves a ton of problems. It allows me to basically haul the gear and also can work out of this, which is huge for me because you need to have a work service. You gotta have your tools, gotta be able to work off of things instead of just having, you gotta push one man band, gotta move the gear by yourself, set up. So here we go. So we're gonna do the full teardown. Yep. Oh yeah. So you just push them out, it's magnetic. Or leave them out, yeah, just leave them in, twist it, and it'll slide right down. When it's down, close the lid. Close the lid. And now you're ready to roll. Right. And if you open it up. Yeah, let's open it back up. Yeah. Back up. Yeah, you can just pull it up. Deploy these and back on the magnets, and you're set. Yeah, I mean, it's as easy as that. We can actually work yeah. and do the job. Take out your important equipment, and you're ready to shoot. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. How easy was that? Very easy. Very simple, effortless, and it's intuitive. I work with a lot of carts, actually. <laughs> so, and to be able to, it's, yeah, it works like it should. You like that it's made in uh, Netherlands and made like, I love made that. I definitely trust that. Yeah. You know, I trust that we're going to have mounting points, craftsmanship. I can see that it's rigid where it needs to be. So you're pretty happy with the fine. Very, thing. very this much is so. Good, this is one of your... One this of is your definitely, because this is this is all day. This is going to save back injuries, knee injuries. Uh, this is, okay, this is going to sound weird, no. um, but I'm going to share this with you. This is my argument every time. I've tried to sell multiple employers on carts, the importance of a cart. Now, the reason a cart is so important is going to save your body, okay? Carts are expensive, right? They're all, it doesn't matter what cart that you get, it's very expensive. And the argument I always make is, how much is it going to cost you if you get injured? It's very simple at that point. How much is workers' comp going to cost you? You get injured, you can't finish the job. It won't, go out, it won't be outdated, it won't be... Yeah, it is all day long. You use this, this will pay for itself in a couple couple jobs, it's paid for itself. And say who you are again? My name is Tony Quirk, and I'm a freelance grip and lighting content creator type person. Out of where? Out of Las Vegas. Oh.
out of fabulous Las Vegas. Fabulous actually. Las Vegas. Indeed. Yeah, we can do some. I hope that, yeah, a little rambly. No, that was Yeah, that do was some kick, inserts. No, that wasn't. I, I cool. was kicking. And here, I'll, I'll give you guys my. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, you have a handle on stuff, right? Uh huh. I'll here, add I'll you to it. Natural you American showmanship. I, <laughs> well, I'll, so here. So you scan the QR code, it'll take you to. All right, look at me for a sec. Yeah. I'll add your handle on, my, on the video. Yeah. I do this for YouTube. Excellent. I'm I, on YouTube I, as well. I bring so. I bring the trade show to the people, saying that you should be at the trade show because you can yes, touch. The, you're missing. You can yeah, yeah. You, you can watch the YouTube video, but you actually got to do it. Yep. You, you, you look familiar. Yeah, that's no, me. No, I'm not YouTube.